Hey, what's up guys? It is Myla and I am finally getting around to doing this video that quite frankly is a little bit overdue. I've been meaning to do it for at least two weeks now, but you know, life be life in. So today we're finally doing it. I am going to talk through briefly about my experience with my breast reduction. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you have kind of gotten a picture of what, you know, the process was and how excited I was about it. And I got a ton of questions about the procedure. So I think the best way for me to do this video is for me to kind of briefly go over how the whole process was. And then when I get questions from you all, I'll do another video and answer those questions because I don't know exactly what you all want to know. And I know that I don't want to repeat a lot of information that is already out there. I mean, before I had the procedure, I looked up everything. Like I watched so many videos on it. So there is a lot of information out there, but I, like I said, on Instagram, I got a lot of specific questions. So I'm more than happy to answer those questions as they come. But for now, we're gonna just kind of go over the whole thing. So if you are interested in learning about breast reductions, keep watching so first things first a lot of people when they found out that i was having a reduction they were kind of like but your breasts aren't even that big or i didn't really know they were that large as a performer as someone who is on stage and you know in front of people a lot i have become a master at kind of like contouring my body with you know either the cut of clothes um wearing minimizer bras, sports bras, taping them bad boys up, putting on a regular bra and constantly moving them up so that they don't look like beaver tails. Period. And them boys was big. It was big. I was like at an E. Yeah. And for someone who works out, like it was, I would gain weight, boobs would get bigger. I'd lose the weight boobs stay the same and even when it came down to wearing like certain types of sports bras I would go running and like literally like it would be like the skin on my shoulders rubbed off all the way down to the white meat because of the, the heavy weight of you know my breast pulling and tugging at the straps in my bra and making my back hurt my shoulders were hurting it always felt like I had like this weight right here um, a lot of tension and I was just sick of it so I had to let it go i knew i wanted to get a reduction but i did not think that insurance would cover it because you know even though they were large they weren't big like some people like i like i said i watched videos on this for a long time and i have family members who have had reductions and their boobs were like they were big big so in my mind in order to get the procedure covered by insurance, I had to be like really, really, really big. So I was waiting, 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 but the problems were getting more and more. Like my back would be hurting from the time I woke up until the time I went to bed. And so I guess my wife, fiance at the time, but she got sick of hearing me complain. And she was like, why don't you just check with your doctor and see if she can help you get approved? And I was like, I was skeptical. I didn't think that I would get approved, but I was like, you know, what the heck? I may as well try the most they could say is no so i made an appointment with my primary care physician and told her all of the things that were going on and you know i don't know if she agreed or not but she wrote it in my medical records that you know i would be a good candidate for uh for a reduction and she submitted it to my insurance in the meantime i went online on my insurance's website and found a plastic surgeon that was in network that was you know highly rated and uh had a lot of good reviews and i went ahead and made an appointment to do a consultation with them that i kind of already had in my mind that i would pay for this out of pocket if i had to so i made that appointment with them to kind of see what that price looked like so that I could wrap my mind around getting my money together. And I think the, the quote was like around $10,000. Which is a lot, but I was gonna figure it out. I was gonna finance it or something. Well, many weeks went past and I was like, okay, well, I guess I gotta finance it. Damn it. Oh, 
And right when I was giving up hope, I got a call from the plastic surgeon and they told me that they had good news, that my insurance had been approved and that we could move forward. Hallelujah. It is surgery day. Yay. I'm excited, a little nervous. How you feel? I got that crud in my eyes, but we'll pull it out. I feel like God has us, and I'm gonna remain strong, calm, and kind. We did intentions this morning, so I have taken my shower, the last shower with the Hibba cleanse. Oh, this is like a really ugly lighting situation. Boom. Um, you can't put on any lotions or powders or deodorant or anything like that. So that feels very wrong. And I feel like I'm going to be ashy soon. I did these little quick braids in my hair to keep it out of the way. And yeah, they don't even look big right now. I'm a master at masking them, but the last hurrah in this house. So I had the surgery on November 2nd. Today just so happens to be December 2nd. So I am completely like four weeks post-op. Right now at four weeks post-op, I am, I, I feel great. Like the scarring is, is healing amazing. I'm so happy about that. I don't have any pain. I didn't really have any pain through this whole procedure. It is amazing to me how pain wasn't even in it. I, I don't know what they did or how they do it, but pain wasn't a part of it. When I went in for my surgery, I think I was measuring at like a 38E, 36E, somewhere in there. They were big, they were big. And if I had to guess now, I would say I'm like a C. They're not small, as you can see. They're not small. They're just a good size and they're up. Some people would say these are small. <laughs> I'm happy about them. The day of, I was really nervous. I was nervous because of the anesthesia, because you're put completely under. That's always a little scary. Um, I was nervous because they intubate you and I'm a singer, so I was worried about my voice. And then, you know, just being cut on. It's, I didn't know what the scarves was gonna look like. I didn't know how much pain I would be in. Uh, even though I had watched a lot of things and everybody kept saying like, it doesn't really hurt, you know, you never know. So I was just nervous, but everybody at the facility was super nice, super warm, kind, made me feel very comfortable and well taken care of. When I woke up, I was bandaged. I had brought a little bra with me because it was in my packet of things to bring, but I did not have to wear it. I was like wrapped in a like an ace bandage type thing that I had to keep on for 24 hours. But my doctor is about to come in and uh, I guess they will take these off. I'm not even sure that I want to see. I'm pretty sure I don't want to see. I almost fainted in the car already and- uh, I want to see. She wants to see. So then, you know, I guess we'll see. This is where we are right now on the side. There's already a market difference. Boy, and it's got padding and everything. Yeah. Over. I didn't have stitches. I had like surgical tape and like a medical grade glue holding the incisions together. I, to be honest with you, the surgery was very uneventful, which is what I prayed for. I didn't want any events. I just wanted to get it done and be safe and be healthy. I had to also bring like a little pillow. I brought my travel pillow, my neck pillow to ride home with, you know, you don't want the the seat belt strap like hitting your breast so you kind of put the pillow there strap yourself in um, i was not in pain when i woke up and ironically i didn't feel nauseous um 
usually anesthesia makes me nauseous and traffic like car sickness is a thing for me and has been since I was little but I was fine I just remember wanting to get home and to go to sleep and that's exactly what I did for about three days straight just a lot of sleeping you do have to get up um, every hour and walk you know every waking hour you're supposed to get up and walk I think like five minutes to make sure that you don't get blood clots to kind of work that anesthesia out of your lungs they want you to cough and you know clear everything out I felt like an old stiff lady but once again there wasn't any pain and it could be the oxy that I was taking but even when I stopped taking it like maybe after the third day there was no pain it was discomfort um, not being able to raise your arms was a pain in the butt, but other than that, it was, it was easy. It was very easy. It was surprisingly easy. I'm still shocked at how easy it was. Other than having to be careful and uh, like the fear of, of hurting yourself, bumping or whatever, I didn't have any issues really. You know, sometimes the bras got a little too tight, like if my breasts were feeling swollen and that would hurt and I would get really sick of that. I wanted to just not wear a bra, but they recommend that you wear the bra, I think for the first three or four weeks, like pretty much all the time, unless you're showering, of course. But right now I feel really good. My scars are so nice, like, and they're not even 100% you know, where they will be, but they, I can already tell they're gonna look really good. <laughs> I'm not this big. <laughs> if we were to pull it in, it's like. So yeah, for now, that's it. I mean, like I said at the beginning of the video, I would prefer to like answer specific questions. So if you all have any questions, like any questions at all, I would be super happy to answer. Um, I could make like a question and answer video to follow this one. I think that would be easier and it just, it cuts down on time, like of me just babbling. Whereas you all can give me questions and then I'll answer exactly what you wanna know. Sound good? Okay, so. If this video was helpful to you, I would love it if you would like, possibly share it with someone who might be interested and go ahead and subscribe. I mean, this is mostly a music channel, but hey, I talk about everything. So that's that on that. All right, until next time, thank you for watching and bye-bye.